Well, the Cardinals needed that in the worst way. In a game where they were coming in as underdogs, the Cardinals managed to pull off a tough but good victory against the Dallas Cowboys. So here are the things that I saw in the game that stood out to me. First is the defense showed up. They were missing a lot of key players. It wasn't always perfect. They had a few miscues, but they made some big plays and did a really good job against the run in an area where they have struggled all season. They had some huge plays by key players like Buda Baker, Chandler Jones, Isaiah Simmons. Overall, it was a really solid performance by a defensive unit that was missing a lot of starters. And remember, against a Dallas offense, it's one of the best in the NFL. This wasn't the Cardinals' best win of the year, but I think it's one of the most important when you consider the situation they were in in terms of having lost three games in a row and the need to get things right going into the playoffs. The offense wasn't perfect either, but they made enough plays to put up some points and win the game. Kyler overall was good. There were a few bad throws, but there were a lot of really good throws too. Chase Edmonds struggled a little bit running the ball, but he was good catching the ball. Wesley had some huge catches, as did A.J. Green, and Zach Ertz made some big plays. Even Greg Dorch had a couple nice touches. I think one of the biggest keys, though, was having Rodney Hudson back. This offense just doesn't work right without him. And although we don't usually talk about punters, getting Andy Lee back was also big. He had a really important punt from his own end zone. It wasn't a great punt, but the fact that he got it off in the first place when it could have been a touchdown or safety from a block made that a really important punt. But maybe more important than that was the fact that he was back as the holder. Matt Prater made all of his kicks, and it probably had something to do with having Andy Lee back as his holder. And with a margin of 25 to 22, every one of those kicks mattered in this game. Now let me mention a few other observations from the game. First, let's talk about the fumble that wasn't, but probably should have been. That run late in the fourth quarter that was not called a fumble probably should have been a fumble, and if it had been reviewed, it would have been. You do have to give the Cardinals credit for one thing with that, though. Earlier in the second half, they put the Cowboys in a situation where they had to waste one of their timeouts that ended up preventing them from challenging that play. Now, I'm sure there are going to be some fans out there who are going to look at that play and blame the rest for the Cowboys losing. Let's remember, though, if the Cowboys had recovered that fumble, they still had to get down the field and score. Now, they might have done that, but we can't just say that the Cowboys lost because the refs made a bad call. Now, there were a number of mistakes by both teams, and the Cowboys certainly shot themselves in the foot some. There were some bad throws here and there, some bobbled passes that should have been catches for the Cowboys, and it wasn't a pretty game by either team. But the Cardinals came in there and earned a victory, with a lot of players missing. The Cowboys had a few players injured and banged up, but if you look at the injury reports coming in, the Cardinals were missing far more players, and they still came in and won the game. It wasn't pretty, but it was what the Cardinals needed, and it keeps them alive in the hunt for the division title. If the Cardinals win next week and then the Rams lose to the 49ers, the Cardinals are going to have the tiebreaker because they'll have a better division record. But even if that doesn't happen, this win is huge for the Cardinals as they look to prepare for the postseason. What stood out to you about the game? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're at it, please do me a favor and click like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on The Cardinal Rule.